morning, I poured myself a glass of cucumber ginger water. My mom had made a huge jug of this, so I went ahead and helped myself to a cup. Cucumber ginger water helps with water retention and is soothing to the tummy as well. Recently, I've been on a berries and cream oatmeal kick. To start in a bowl, add one third cup of rolled oats and pour enough water to cover the oats. Microwave for one minute. After, it'll look dry and mushy, but this is the consistency that I'm going for. To achieve that creaminess, now add the soy milk, enough to cover the oats. Mix well. Next, add your choice of sweetener. I chose honey. I added about one teaspoon of honey, then mixed that in before adding the frozen berries. I microwaved the oatmeal for one additional minute. And this is the consistency that you get, very creamy and delicious. Then I added half of a sliced ripe banana and chia seeds. Welcome back to the channel everybody. If you are new here, my name is Brenda. I like to film lifestyle vlogs. So if you're into that kind of thing, please support my channel by clicking subscribe. Welcome to a what I eat in a day. I have not filmed one of these videos in a very long time. These types of videos are my favorite because essentially I love cooking, I love baking, I love anything food related, nutrition. However, I also am a believer that you should have balance in your diet. So I am not very strict when it comes to my eating habits. I am just sharing a realistic day of my meals. I wanted today's video to have a little wintry touch to it. So if you saw in the morning, I had that bowl of oatmeal because oatmeal is just so nutritious and cozy, especially in the winter. And for dinner tonight, I am going to be cooking some oven chicken thighs. I'm going to roast some vegetables. So I'm excited to share that recipe because I have friends and family that have been asking for that recipe. So I thought why not include it in one of my what I eat in a day videos because this way it'll be there set in stone for the reference. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. For dinner, I cooked Italian herb oven baked chicken thighs. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees, then in a bowl add the lemon juice of one large lemon. I had to use a couple small ones, but one large lemon should do. Then add one tablespoon of grapeseed oil, it's best for high heat. Next, add one teaspoon of dry thyme. one teaspoon of oregano. Essentially, you can add Italian seasoning, but I like to have control of the amount of herbs that I add. Lastly, add one teaspoon of sea salt.
now coat the thighs in the marinade and i actually forgot to add granulated garlic so i added about one and a half teaspoons and to brighten up the flavor i added fresh parsley leaves I bake the chicken thighs for 30 minutes in the oven. Check out the description below for the full detailed recipe. Well, that is a wrap for today's video. I am really tired from cooking and cleaning. I hope that y'all enjoyed that chicken recipe. I definitely modified it a lot as I was cooking. So I am going to share the updated recipe in the description below. I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel for more videos to come and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.